Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Tannik here and welcome back to Imperion Galactic Survival playing Reforged Eden 1.5. So I want to start out by thanking the chorus of you who rightly pointed out that I did not need to be out in space. I needed to find this trade station here on the... Okay, well, I was going to say stuff. These guys are kind of ruining my intro. That's okay. All right. Bring it on. Where are you guys? I will blow you into... There's nothing on my radar. What the hell, Ida? Yeah, Ida. My apologies, Commander. It was an attempt at humor. Oh, yes, yes. The funny... The funny really came through there, Ida. Jesus Christ. I can confirm that no bombers have launched and the skies are clear. Commander, you are free to proceed. I was going to say, that'll take me forever to get two bombers down. Um, so anyway, yeah, this is where I'm supposed to be, right here at this trade station with... Uh, do I have... Alright, I have all of my undelivered cargo, so I'm going to see what I can do uh, to trade this stuff in. Now, this kind of looks new. Is that a landing pad? Well, it's about to be. Yep, yep. Don't mind me, it's old Mike Tannik. What kind of rain is that? Okay. Oh, don't mind me, that's just the black cloud that follows me around, raining on everything and everyone around me. Well, we're here. I guess I should start asking around. Well, maybe. I don't know. Correction, you are there, Commander. I'm simply observing your surroundings using sensors on your suit. Well, where the hell are you at it? According to Terran custom, the bartender is the most common source of information about events inside a frontier town. It may be best to start there. That's a bit cliche, but I guess I need to start somewhere. Alright, yeah, what's wrong with that? What's, what do you got against bars? Um, okay, I, I don't necessarily feel safe turning all this stuff off, but... Yeah, I got enough fuel. I'm gonna leave everything on here. And I do believe that I have uh, Wi-Fi, is that correct? No, not that. Wireless, yeah. Okay, good. So I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Yep. Oh, me and my black cloud are just gonna park here. All right. Uh, what do I have on me? Okay, good enough. Why am I being irradiated? Hello? Oh god. I always say trade stations because there's a lot of really shootable people here. I don't think I can use this yet, can I? I can! Hey, I can teleport to the Kinex station. Kinex, I, that's clever. I like that. Alright, bartender, you're just gonna have to wait. I need to find uh, a thingy. A thingy here. Uh, no, that's for that. that. <gasps> Ooh, guys, I have cash. Uh, where is it? Container controller. Oh, I didn't bring the cash, did I? No, of course not. That's all right. Hey there, pretty lady. You just made me have frames. That's... A lot of people complain about the Xerox's governing. Honestly, I... Oh, I didn't catch that. I'm eating your waffles, guys. That's the kind of guest I am. Hey, what do you want? I heard someone talking about a Lost Polaris Super Freighter in the Elyon system. Ten credits? Aw, oh, I missed the rest. Okay. You really don't have much else to say, do you? Hi. Have you heard of the Abyss's latest weapon? Oh. Okay, I'm not gonna read every little thing that pops up there. Uh, what do you sell here? Bertrams. Uh, I'm here to shop. What do you got? Multi-tool? Nope, I have one of them. Uh, ooh, I should have brought my old one. I could have sold it for some credits. That I am going to need. But clearly I do not have enough money. Alright. Ah, uh, frag grenade. He's got uh, some of the ammunition that I cannot make. Can does he sell Kablamis? No, but he sells magnesium powder. At 30 bucks a pop, I don't think that's worth it. I can get that elsewhere. Alright. Thanks, man. 
Uh, hang on, I gotta go downstairs. I gotta figure out where I'm trading in this. Or at least handing in uh, my undelivered cargo. Alright guys, unless I just have a case of the stupid, uh, I don't think that I can actually trade in those undelivered boxes. I think that I have to go to a different kind of trade station, which kind of blows my buzz, but that's okay. Because we have new missions to get to, and I'm really curious to see uh, how they frame it. Or how, I should say, the creator of Vermilion framed it. Uh, from here on in. Oh, can I keep... Is there more up? You guys don't have more up. Alright. Let's see what you have to say. Ain't seen one of you guys in here in a while. What you want? Pretty sure I saw some humans over there. I'm Commander Mike Tannick, and this is my favorite store on the station. Look, pal. We don't do that here. This ain't the Citadel, and I ain't the Admiral, so I don't give a toss if this is your favorite... I... You pay full price or you leave. What'll it be? Alright, so I'm looking for my crew. But I am Commander Mike Tannick, just so you know. Can't help you with that, pal. The last of your people got shuttles about a cycle ago and buggered off out of this dump. If you ain't buying a drink, then you can bugger off like your friends. Alright, thanks anyway, dickhead. Yep. If the rest of the people here are as unfriendly as that guy, I'm not going to get any information. Might as well keep asking the shopkeepers, since they're the ones who've been here... At the time. Hello there, valuable customer. What can I do for you today? I'm looking for a Xeon Mark 20 guided rocket launcher with retractable sight and thermal tracking. Uh -huh. uh, where'd you get that motorbike from? No. Yeah, I want to know about the motorbike. I see you have a good eye, sir. This lovely piece of machinery was sold to me almost a year ago by a group of newcomers. If you're interested in where they got them, they should ask station security. Now, about the bicycle? How does 3,200 credits sound to you? Uh, yeah, no, I hate those things. I got a lead, Ida. It seems that the survivors met with the trade station security manager. According to the station logs, the security manager is called Officer Paravel. There are many complaints about him, Commander. I'm detecting a large amount of data traffic from his terminal, which is protected by a high-order AI that I cannot bypass. Be careful, Commander. Hey, do you know anything about a high-order AI? Heard anything interesting? Uh, Polaris, I'm paid to say that. Okay, no. I'm here to shop. What do you have again? Ooh, leather, that's right. I really want that magnesium powder, but I'm just going to have to to deal with it. Are you the security manager? I heard that Vermilion of Forge Aerospace has been... Okay. Why do keep people keep calling these guns epic? We're not a bunch of dumb kids. Okay, that is definitely... Are you Vermilion? Is this what you really look like? Because that's what Vermilion says. Alright. Station security manager, man. What do you? Hey, I see you're done hassling the station staff and have finally come to me. I was getting tired watching you bumbling around, obstructing productivity, and being a general nuisance. There's no need to open your mouth, Taryn. I know what you want. You want me to tell you where your friends have gone. Man, you could tell that Vermillion really wrote this himself. <clears throat> As you can see, they're obviously not here. They left a cycle ago in a transport, which I'm sure you already know. Anything more is confidential information, only accessible to Polaris employees, of which you are not. Don't even consider begging or threatening me for the information. I will have station security on you before you even unholster your weapon. You just, you just don't know me. I will blow up this entire goddamn station and myself just to win. I could keep asking around until I find someone who knows. What do I need to do to get you to tell me what I need to know? I could just punch you in the face for the fun of it. Alright, how about I try the smart brainly way? I'll ask around. Indeed you could. It wouldn't help you any though. You see, the station personnel here are all Polaris employees and know better than to reveal industrial secrets to an unknown party. I know you support your... 
your support AI as well, and Polaris has one of our own. So please stop the attempts at system intrusion. The little flashing icon on my display is playing on my nerves. I cannot breach the station's security network. I'm being blocked by another AI, as he says. If I were closer to the station and had full use of my systems, I am confident that I could get in. But for now, it may be best to do as he says. The vacant expression on your face tells me that your supporter is telling you that I'm right. Of course, I'm always right. So, are we ready to get down to business? I'm very tempted to punch you in the face. Okay, what do you want? You're starting to see reason. I can work with this. As I said, the information is confidential to Polaris employees. Fortunately, I, on behalf of the Polaris Megacorp, have a proposition for you. Are you aware of the current political situation between us of Polaris Megacorp and the High Command of the Empire? No. Or Xerox Empire. No, of course you are not. Even so, it seems that the powers that be have determined that you could be a useful tool. Powers that be! So this isn't your decision. Sigh. No, this is not my decision. Nor is it my chosen way of doing things. Either way, I'll get my promotion out of this dump and into HAPSEC where I don't have to deal with clowns like you. Let me explain the situation in terms you can understand, all right? Polaris Megacorp is the greatest economic power in this galaxy and formerly a subsidiary of the trade guild up until the War of Silence two and a half centuries ago when we broke away as an independent power following the War of Silence. The Xerox are our major consumer of raw materials, but as we've been exhausting the deposits in our own quadrants of space, the depleted Xerox have failed to utilize the resources in territory that they've refused to give up rights to and can barely sustain an active presence over. Simply put, we want what they have but cannot use. What does any of this have to do with me? Let me finish explaining before you interrupt with your inane questions. You are clearly not Polaris and have no ties to the corporation or to any local faction save your UCH Navy. Those lack of connections make you a useful tool for disrupting Xerox control over certain territories and planets without any repercussions for the company. You are free to move in, attack the Xerox, which I'm sure you don't mind doing considering what they did to your people and leave the depo depopulated territory to the company to move in and set up, what would you call it? Humanitarian aid for the survivors of your vicious random attack. Of course, what do I get out of this? What you get is the next step on your journey towards your missing people. And of course, as an employee of Polaris Megacorp, you're entitled to pay in some benefits. Healthcare, dental, employee discounts, the usual. Since you have little choice in the matter, why don't you just agree already? I've just forwarded the agreement to your support AI to sign on your behalf. Hurry and get it over with since your first assignment is time sensitive. Ida, did you receive the contract? Anything I should worry about? I did, Commander. Aside from an attempt to slip some malware to me in the contract, it's a fairly loose contract. I've checked it against other station personnel's contracts that I was able to access on personal devices and yours is unusually free of loopholes or deception. I would guess that such a loose contract would prevent them from being legally bound to defend you in the event of your capture with as few ties as possible to Polaris. In effect, it gives them plausible deniability. There is a, likely a deeper game being played here, but nothing that would conflict with your allegiance to the UCH. All right, Ida, do I need to actually sign or anything? No, Commander, I registered it and returned a copy of the contract. I also included their own malware packet in the signature. I thought you'd like that. I would like that. Good work, Ida. I wish I'd thought of that myself. Okay, Manager, everything's been signed and sent back to you. Yes, I can see that. Everything appears to be in order. Welcome to the company, Commander Mike Tannick. I'm hoping you'll be a valuable asset to us. Your employee number is... <laughs> Memorize it. It's more important than your life now. Yep, I'm on it. I have a job for you already. It's a time-sensitive one, so I hope you have a ship ready. 
One of your surveyor towers has drifted over a Xerax owned ore vein, and we're concerned they may take hostile action. The company wants you to secure our asset as an unaffiliated third party. Yeah, well, exactly. Hey, what about my people? You were supposed to tell me where they went. I'm not supposed to do anything. You are an employee of the Polaris, a contractor with no say in what I do. I could have you cleaning toilets if I wanted. Yeah, we'll see about that. Uh, I sent the job details to your secretary to handle. You were, f you were to go protect Polaris assets from unwanted Xerox interference as a member of the UCH. We want plausible deniability within the hour. Now go. You better have answers when I come back. All right. I have plotted a course to the current location of the Polaris survey tower from the information in the data package, Commander. Judging by... It'd be real nice if I could actually, you know, read it. All right, so what are we to do? Um, all right, it's not showing up on my HUD. Is that it? No, that is my home. Survey tower, survey tower. What survey tower, guys? There. Uh, oh, it's just to the north of us. There's the survey tower. All right. Uh, looks like we're just gonna lock and load. I I don't think. I I don't think I'm cut out for this. I should have ah. Uh, I wish medium armor was in my contract. Did I get anything out of that? No. Uh, let me get some of this back into storage. Nope. It's my melee ammunition. All right. Off we go, I suppose. So I guess like after this set of missions right here, um, what I'm going to do is actually take some time to mine up resources and I am going to do what has not been done in a very long time guys. I am going to build a CV. I've decided. Um, a few people have requested that I display my shame yet again and uh, I, it's time that I, I just step back in the water because I I, I don't know. We'll, we'll talk about it later, but I really don't want to do it, but I think I have to. Alright. I approached. Did I not? And wait a minute. There's not even any resources around here. I'm not seeing any landing pad or way to access the deck of the tower. I may have to pull up alongside and jump over. Ye Yeehaw. Wait, is that a ladder over there? All right, uh, let me see. Hi, Polaris Surveyor. <laughs> Hi, can we just talk like this? All right, I guess I have to all right, hit the O key. Get a little closer. This is bad. Hey, you need to move the survey now. Xerox are preparing to attack the tower. Yeah. Hey, did you hear me? That's why you're here. I'm reconfiguring the grav field, but you gotta get the Xerox away. Ah! Oh, God. Uh, okay. Yep, I'm on it. Commander, two Xerox bombers have launched from the Xerox territory and are headed for your location. Well, no kidding. Oh, it's a light bomber, at least. At least one is. Prepare to intercept. All right, pilot mode, engage. I wish I had a shield. That would be real nice. Yeah, this mod doesn't hold your hand, so you can't count on the difficulty, like, just gradually scaling up. Like, bombers are bombers. Oh my god, I hate this. Alright. My range is only 183 meters, so I gotta get, like, real close to these dudes. And I have to do it like this, because that, that view just won't do. change my mind. Okay. Alright. Gotta get a little less... I think if I gain altitude on them, I can hover above them, and uh, hopefully we'll do it that way. Or no, these guys got range. He's showing off. Nope, get above them. I'm not taking hits for this guy. Alright, 
And I am still kind of getting used to uh, the flight mechanics as far as the roll. Like, the roll is quite a bit more difficult. Man, these guys turn on a dime. It is not fair. I need... You know what I need, guys? I don't have to do this. I need... Turrets. That's what I need. So, I'm going to go get turrets, and then I'm going to be right back, and I'm going to wreck these guys. Oh, my God. Okay. Now we're back in business. So, I just got to stay on top of these guys. Ah, oh, my God. You son of a... Get, get out. No way. I am gaining. I am gaining reputation with the Xerax. Okay, I don't think that my, uh... Gatling turret is doing much better here, and I do realize that it's because I have to be in range. Right? Yep, okay. I got you. I got you. Looks like my turret just woke up. That is nice. Doing what I cannot do. I just do not have the performance on this yet to... Uh-oh. What did that just bomb? Yeah, I don't have the performance yet to, uh, like, keep pace with these guys. One turn, and I'm out of the fight, so hopefully... There we go. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Oh my God, guys. Thank you, sir. Would have been toast if head office didn't send you. Are you gonna get throw? Get out of here now, buddy. They might be not be sending reinforcements right now, but they will probably eventually. Now I radioed the Xerox base and said you attacked the tower and blew up their boomers. Give me the perms to stick around and keep an eye on. Okay, then. Surveyor, I'll be fine here, so you can go on back home and leave this here to me. Thanks again, sir. All right, security manager. I've mangled my ship, uh, deformed it for this. Look at it. Look at this. It's like the an obese sparrow. It was something of of beauty that was mangled by the something of war. Oh, he better pay me handsomely. Oh wait, I'm trying to find people, that's right. Not money, Mike, not money. People, find your people, all right. Are we good? Yeah, man, I, I will say we are. Thing is efficient on fuel. But that was a nightmare. Uh, so much so that it pissed me off too much to actually go and loot those bombers, which I should have. Um, yeah, you. All right, I've done what you wanted. The survey tower is safe. The survey gets to stay where it is, and the Xerox think it was an isolated UCH attack. Now tell me where my people are. Not so fast, numbers. You're an employee of Polaris now, and we pay our employees when they complete the job satisfactorily. In fact, you did better than we expected. We didn't expect the Xerox to allow our asset to remain in place. Alright, hand over the cash. That's really what I want. Yeah, the cash. Here's your payment as promised. Most contract jobs will be paid directly to your account with Polaris once you've been authenticated. I recommend depositing your payment at the machine behind you. Yeah, 15,000 credits. What's with the obsession with money around here? 
as I just demanded payment. Uh, to the Polaris and Trade Guild, there's nothing more important, more sacred than money. It's a measure of one's value and achievements in life. A physical means of measuring the worth of a man can be seen in his wealth. I suppose you think you could think of money to us as counters in the great game of life, and we're all players, whether we like it or not. A man with no wealth is either a failure or a threat to those that do. A man who does not seek to gain wealth is a danger to everyone that does. So keep in mind, my tannic numbers, that if you seek compensation of Polaris, you will be considered untrustworthy. That shouldn't be anything new to you, though. Okay, fine. Your people's contracts are still classified, but I've been given permission to tell you specifics of what they negotiated for and point you in the general direction you need to go. I am not permitted to, nor do I want to reveal anything more. Your naval personnel arrived here 10 months ago and agreed to contracts with Polaris that they would loan us two teams of UCH Engineering Corps to provide Terran equipment and manufacturing processes to Polaris Megacorp in exchange for funding, transportation, and an opening dialogue to a partnership with various Polaris Megacorp subsidiaries. Upon completing arrangements, the clients were taken to Connect 62 in orbit aboard their pair of large transports for medical attention to be assigned to long distance couriers to their chosen destinations. The naval engineers arrived on the station a week later and were transported off site by Polaris security fleet. A security fleet? Isn't that a bit much? Evidently, you don't realize how valuable your engineers are to Polaris in our current situation. We are expecting great things from them. But what is... But what that is, I can't tell you. Can you at least tell me how many of my people were left here? I don't know, and I don't care. All I know is that there was a request for medical aid and several crew members and enough people to transport it... Transport that it required two light transports. If you want more information, speak to one of the pilots that took them to Connect 62, not me. Connect 62? What is that, anyway? Connect 62, or just Connect Station, is a major transport and trading hub for the Polaris in orbit above this dump of a planet. You'll need a ship or teleport clearance to reach it. One of the pilots that took your people up there can tell you how to get there. Pilot. Yes, a pilot. An idiot that flies a ship. Just like you. He's sitting over there on that bench and will be more than happy to answer your inane questions. Farewell, and I hope never to see you again. Yeah, thanks for all your help. Boink. <laughs> Alright. Looks like we finally found a lead on the rest of the UCH fleet, Ida. This pilot should be able to tell us... Okay, so... Really, what's happening here is that UCH was basically exploited by the Polaris, of course, to their predictable ends. They want ore, which means they want wealth. They are a one-trick pony, which makes them easier to deal with in a way, but... Uh, yeah, whatever, whatever the UCH needed, they traded probably much needed and very precious engineering assets that as a lost fleet of humans probably could not spare but who am I to judge so we are gonna find out in the next episode what mr. pilot he do over there uh, knows about this whole mess I am enjoying this drama guys I don't know about you uh, I do apologize because I know it's a lot of reading but I'm actually enjoying this game having a story. I know I played through this before in different iterations. And, uh, yeah. I, I, I played through in different iterations. You stay back. Back. And kind of, you know, had parts of this story already. But uh, just from the things I've seen, it's worth the slow burn. To me let me know what you guys think uh, in the comments below and uh, I have well I, I'm I might be trying something new but I'll talk about that 
uh, down in the comments below and uh, in the next video. So thank you all for joining me today. I hope you're having a good time because I am. Uh, thank you to all my channel members and patrons. I will see you next time. Mike Tannick out.